what is the future of automotive retailing? The four key megatrends who are going to drive the future of retailing are going to be urbanization, connectivity and convergence, they're going to be the bricks and the clicks, and social trends. So in terms of urbanization, if you think that 60% of the world population is going to live in an urban area by 2025, this is a massive impact on the cost of retail space, so retail space will become a luxury. So consequently, dealerships will have to change in format, they will have to change in size, and this will have an impact on the entire retail network. The car industry has basically been developed with blue water between people who make the products and people who sell the products. I think we're going to see a muddying of that and I think we are going to see increasingly a sense of um, car manufacturers having a retail presence. But that's a retail presence principally for brand development purposes um, as opposed to necessarily to sell. Any business that's really flying online today will do as many as possible of five different things. They'll be social, they'll be local, they'll be mobile, they'll use video and they'll use a form of aggregation. The social trends are really, really important, so the way the Generation Y and the Millennials are consuming goods and the way they're influenced by social media is radically going to change the way we sell cars and the way we market cars. We're seeing that people are entering a physical showroom in the journey to car purchase later than ever before and just over 80% of car purchases now start online and when we just look at the used car space that pushes almost to 100% of purchases now start online and the research happens online. And in a great many cases actually they only visit a physical showroom once and that's to conclude the transaction usually after a kind of a confirmatory test drive. So going forwards we're expecting to see the role of dealerships fundamentally change shape and go from being centres of sales that engage a customer fairly early in the purchase journey, perhaps after they've just done the most rudimentary of, of, of research at home with a car magazine, and then guide them through the whole process and compete with one another with increasingly competitive sales tactics to, to capture that sale. A digital flagship store, so think of the Audi City London. It is a retail format that has one third of the space of the conventional dealership, but it actually can display an unlimited number of vehicles in an unlimited number of configurations and see it appearing live in a virtual world in front of them. We have the pop-up stores, so think of gatherings that are not a constant. So it's the most ephemeral store, but it's actually the smartest store when you think of following the crowd, the footfall, and as I say, go fishing where the fishes are. We can see a huge amount of customer feedback about current cars based on the way they interact with websites, based on the way they comment about those cars on, on, on social media, based on the way that they choose to submit test drive requests or not. And all that information could and should feed directly back into things like sales pitches, into product brochures, into the way that that car is marketed. Nowadays the journey is not finished, it actually expands into service, it expands into the aftermarket and it's actually done a lot online. So you have your connected car, you have your, your telematics, you have your prognosis and this is how the OEM is actually bringing back and engaging the customer. It's not about the, the, the one stop, a once a year visit somebody has to do, it's, it's engaging, in, it's bringing in through digital touch points. When someone's owned a car they've bought from a given dealership for X amount of time, the dealership could and should be able to see how often that car's been driven, in what conditions, what type of driving, and as such they should be able to recommend particular products and services that would most benefit that customer. Retailing has to be more interactive, less silo. We're going to have a high level of digitization, so about 20% of the typical dealership will give space to digital elements, and the way we sell is going to be consultative, it's not going to be directional and the holy grail of sales will really be the seamless transition from the online to the offline world, from the virtual shopping experience to the physical shopping experience.